Hi, I'm Brian Jackson, editor of ITBusiness.ca. I'm here at Adobe Summit in Las Vegas, and joining me today is Tyler Lassard, the CMO of Vidyard, a Kitchener, Ontario-based company. Welcome. Great, thank you for having me. Great, so we're here to talk about video, of course, because you work for Vidyard. Yeah. Your video platform is uh, a service for marketers to get their, vi their video content out there, uh, market it properly, track it, get value out of it, get that ROI on video. So when we're talking about video, I, I think what we hear a lot and what marketers are hearing a lot is that video is really all the rage on the internet. Everybody's watching video. We hear Canadians love watching video online. But you know, there's so much competition out there. Everybody's trying to push you their ads on YouTube. Sure. People's attention is getting pulled away. Uh, sometimes you can even skip the ad. You don't even have, it's an option all. So in that sort of environment, how do you rise above the noise? Yeah, well it's true, we are, um, we talk about we're in the attention economy where it's very difficult to get somebody's attention in the first place and then retain that attention and, and turn it into action ultimately, which is a big challenge for marketers these days with people being inundated with, with content and with messages. Uh, but we do continue to find that video is a prolific way to do that. Um, it continues to prove itself as a medium to attract more audiences. Um, it's a more uh, attractive medium, particularly for the younger generation and millennials who have grown up on this, who are used to creating and sharing content and are looking for ways to interact with information very quickly, um, which video offers. Um, so we do find it to be an increasingly popular medium, both for advertising, but also perhaps more importantly, um, for overall content and brand marketing. Uh, more and more websites are moving towards video-based content for their home pages, for their product pages, for customer testimonials, different ways to engage with audiences through a visual format. Um, so the biggest thing we often talk to our customers about is it's not just about top of funnel advertising anymore. Video has to be a part of your overall content strategy for your customers. And there's different purposes to having video out there, and it depends on who you are. You know, we're, I'm working for a publisher, mm -hmm. and uh, with this video, all I'm really hoping is that people will watch it. So sure. that's my end goal. I just want to get the content out there. But I imagine for marketers, you want to generate some sort of action that you, really it would be right. best if people not only watched the video, but then took some sort of next action to get further down the funnel. Right. So how do you try and encourage that? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a big movement to, to think about more than just the view counts on videos, and it is really about inspiring action. Um, but it is one of the greatest attributes of video because of its ability to connect with people emotionally, um, to pull them into a story. And it's, uh, you know, it is really a great way to, to drive that action if you do things properly. And so there's a number of things that uh, marketers do need to think about as a way to ensure the content they're producing is going to convert. Um, you know, some of that is around how they're telling their stories, keeping away from video content. It's not a great medium as a sales pitch for example, it's a great medium to educate, to inspire, and in some cases to entertain. And um, also length, keeping your, your content tight um, so that you're keeping your audiences, um, respecting their time, but quickly driving that next action that you're looking for. Uh, we've grown up in an era where people are expecting quick hits of content and attention mm -hmm. spans are shrinking, uh, but again, with video, you can get a lot of information within 60, 90 seconds and so on. Um, so keeping that content tight is important. Um, but then also how you uh, actually produce the content, the ty type of information you're presenting. Um, there are you know, great strides in your ability to create animated explainer videos, whiteboard videos, again, customer testimonials that are telling stories, but also to be entertaining and informative. Uh, we find that a lot of brands uh, aren't comfortable being fun, being funny, but video is a great medium to do that, and it works. Whether you're in B2B, B2C companies, it doesn't matter. Um, so using video to connect on an emotional level um, will always win in terms of driving that next conversion, um, and then what you do from there is, is really based on the programs you're creating. These are some great tips, but in ter in uh, interest of keeping this content tight, yeah. I'm just going to ask you one more question, and that's uh, when it comes to creating the content itself. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking about marketing it, getting that asset out there, getting people further down the funnel, attaining your marketing goals with it, right. but typically uh, marketers turn to agencies to produce this sort of content, yep. and I'm wondering uh, with more, if you find you're producing more of it, at what point do you think about bringing on some in-house talent to produce that video? Yeah, that is a key part to what we see a lot of our customers doing to help them scale with video content. Um, it is a very approachable medium now for creation. Uh, not all videos need to be a, a Hollywood studio production, and so we're finding most of our clients are working in a hybrid model 
with agencies to produce um, that higher level content for big campaigns or for home pages and things like that, but bringing a lot more of that content production in-house for product demo videos, for customer videos, um, for quick inspirational videos, uh, perhaps also capturing your own employees talking about your products. There's all sorts of ways in which you can use video internally now, and we're seeing that as a great way to scale your production and to get comfortable as an organization investing in video as a content medium. Okay, well thank you for joining me today and sharing all of these great tips. That was excellent. Pleasure. And thank you for watching the video. If you'd like to see more coverage of Adobe Summit, just check that out on itbusiness.ca. I'm Brian Jackson.